friends. Got out of the house a smidge too late. <laughs> I forgot that elementary school kids have regular start times today. My kids are all on late start, so they're all still home. And <clears throat> they don't have to leave. They're going to be leaving within the hour, but one of them is not even awake yet. We can guess which one. <laughs> but I should have left like 10 minutes ago to be in front of the buses. Um, but as it is, I'm behind at least two. So we're gonna be here for a second. So I thought I would just kind of chat with you. Okay, the bus ahead of me is gonna stop here, so. <laughs> All right, you guys tell me if I'm talking too much about walking specifically. Um, but that's what this is gonna start out with because I don't know what else to bring you right now because this is what I'm doing. My kids are in school and I'm not doing like other fun activities, although I might see if they can do my nails today. I need to be scheduled to get them done for our special tux event. I haven't even said what that is yet. And I'm sorry, I'm teasing you about that. So I might get them done today so that they're ready to be done in time for that. But otherwise, I'm not doing much. And then I get tempted to like go to the dollar sport store like I did yesterday to get a haul for you. And then I didn't take my camera with me. And then I only got non-exciting things like bathroom scrub brushes and foam cleaner. Although I did get more of those pimple patches. They are very handy. I pulled so much out of this guy yesterday. Super good. But um, I wanted to talk to you about all the things that make it easy for me to go walking so that the motivation can just be like an internal thing and I can kind of just quickly like make that decision and then other things are kind of in place um, for me to, to make it easier and make it more attainable. So we're gonna head over to the park and I will kind of walk you through a few of those things. Also, supposedly that these gray foggy skies are gonna go away in exactly 15 minutes. Who's willing to make that bet with me? It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. So we're gonna see if it at 9.15 ish, these skies are open and blue because that's what it says on the weather app. I am not ready for a cold morning. I'm willing to do it cold, but I wasn't wanting to. Okay, while I'm at a light, I'm gonna show you a few of the things. I've got my energy drink here. I've got my cup of ice here, and I've got ice, all of that ice. I like ice. I, just, I use these little, um, what do you call it? Disposable, not disposable, but like I use these little plastic cups and I put it into my Stanley cup, my fake Stanley on this one, to keep the ice cold. But I don't like to put juices in these because I just don't want to have to clean these out all the time. They're kind of cumbersome. So I just put my drink in here and I kind of put a lid on it to keep the ice from melting. But I drink as much of my energy drink as I can. Okay, I'm at another light. As soon as I finish this drink, usually it's at the end of my workout, I'll finish the last of my energy drink. I like to have that extra ice because then I put my um, my new clear protein drink in there. Usually I will just drink my water. But I want to, these are the things that I bring from home. These things I am bringing every single day. I also fill up my water bottle, whatever, usually it's this one, usually it's an Awala. I have ice and water in there and I, intermittently drink water and energy drink or the clear protein drink. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> literally up in the clouds. This is, and I'm literally looking at the weather app. I'm driving slow, but like, this is ridiculous. All right, we're parked. I'm ready to go in, or get out, I should say. Okay, then the other thing I bring from home and that is my AirPods. I always have these on me. I just stick them right in as soon as I get here. I don't bother keeping my case with me unless I'm with a friend or meeting a friend here. Then my whole purse gets hidden in my car. I don't keep that with me. Okay, so that's what I bring with me. Every day it's the same. I make sure I have everything in my purse. I make sure my headphones are charged at night. I make sure my phone is charged at night. I make sure I have my ice and my energy drink. 
Um, today I actually forgot to eat a breakfast bar or protein bar or whatever, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how um, I can fix that. I'm not going to eat it today. I might eat it after I walk a couple miles. We'll see how I feel. Um, but I did get here pretty early, so I'm not terribly hungry right now. Usually I just try and have something to eat when I drink something like an energy drink so that I have something to offset like the caffeine, but I'm feeling okay today. So see, and that's already, I've already had half of this drink. I'm not going to pour the rest of that. I want my eyes to stay cold. Let me show you the back of my car. Okay. Normally this jacket is in here. I have an extra sweatshirt, just like a regular cozy sweatshirt. If I've done like a rainy walk, I like to have something kind of cozy to put on afterward. I also have my pink jacket in there. So I can kind of choose between, oh my gosh, my knee, knee pad. We'll talk about that. Um, I kind of choose between which jacket and I do wash them in between. Um, I had worn this inside after cheer practice last night. And so I had it in the house, but I have all kinds of weather um, jackets necessary. I'm probably going to put this one on for a little while because it is kind of cold out here. But I wanted to show you in here, my little, it's kind of <laughs> right in the back of my car here. Um, I have my breakfast bars in here. I kind of keep a little stash ready to go so I don't have an excuse to not go. I also have a baseball, the girls one from <laughs> the older guys that play, not older, they're in, they're Jason's age, but they play baseball while she's at cheer practice and they give them free balls. I do have my wrist weights. I might put those on today. I have not worn them yet. Okay, I have to film on my phone. My um, camera card is full. I'm pretty sure. Here, let's check it. You guys can kind of see what I do here. Let's see here. I'm going to go to my settings, format. Yeah, I'm, my disc is full. But I can't do anything about that because otherwise I will ruin the disc. So we're going to put the camera away. We're not going to use that anymore. This is why I like to hide my purse. Camera and purse need to be hidden. And got our jackets. Okay, so I'm going to wear this guy. Um, now, socks. You saw this one on the seat. I just washed this one. But normally I have extra socks all in my little compartments here. Um, I keep them in my car. When I wash them, I immediately bring them out to my car whenever I'm coming to my car and I will stash them and keep socks clean in my car. Again, no excuses for going on a walk. This is what I'm kind of trying to show you here. My shoes are always in my car. I take them off when I get to the park or when I'm done with my walk. These are my dirty socks, toss those over there. These are my shoes that I'm going to wear today. When I start doing my trail runs, not runs, but hikes, I will wear these hokas. Keep them in the car. Um, they can air out just fine. Um, and I, you know, some of the reason why I leave them in the car, I just air them out. If I'm not going right home, then they're not gonna get all stinky. So I do have a clean pair for today. Then I'm gonna put my weighted vest on and I'm gonna put, today I'm gonna put my knee brace on. Um, because I'm trying to help my knee, I'm not going to worry about my wrist guards, my wrist weights today. I'm going to try and strengthen my knee and get it feeling better. And then we'll work on some more strength training with those wrist guards. Also, I have some eczema going on, so I just don't really want to add sweat to my wrist. Doesn't it just look cold? Doesn't it just look <laughs> cold? I'm going to put my jacket on. The idea here is that I don't have excuses. I have everything on me like I have everything in the car I have everything in my purse I just have to make the mental decision when I'm in bed or I'm at home go for a walk and then I grab my purse because I know my purse has everything in it I grab my energy drink and I grab some ice and I'm in the car and I've got everything in the car that I need I don't have to think about it I don't have to remember to grab socks I don't have to remember to grab my shoes oh where did I put my shoes Oh no, they're in a different, you know what I mean? Like all these things prevent us from doing it. And I'm, I'm talking about walking, but you can be do, going for a workout. You can be going for a run. You can be, you know, like going for a hike, whatever, walking your dog. I like to keep it, um, accessible 
all the time and I like to have routine. I like to have things kind of in their place um, and have it be the same. That's why I do my, my run, my walk at the park and I do the same routine over and over and over again because if you create the routine, it becomes habit. When you create habits, you create lifestyle changes and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create lifestyle changes um, and yeah, repetition creates habits like this. So we're going to put everything on. So <laughs> weighted vest, knee brace, shoes and socks, jacket. All right, I've got myself all ready to go. I've got all my old people things on, like my knee brace. I've got my weighted vest, I've got my jacket. Um, the weather now says that this fog is not going away until 10 a.m. Oh, okay, also, we're gonna start. I can't walk, hang on one sec. All right, we're gonna try and do this with my chin here. Show you what I do, hang on. I'm going to start my watch and my fitness tracker. We're gonna hit outdoor walk. And now we're off. I do this every single time. I wanna track every single step from the second I'm away from my car to the second I come back to my car. One of you mentioned maybe getting a pedometer. I might if I start wearing my wrist guards. I know this trail is exactly half a mile. And if, as long as I stick to the track, I know I'm getting, I know exact that I'm, my watch is like measuring me exactly. I also know that up by the other track, by the baseball diamond is exactly a quarter mile, almost exactly a quarter mile. So I have to do that one four times to get a mile. So I just start and it becomes routine for me. Um, it's fun because there's no one here. At least not that I'm, I mean, there's cars, so I wonder where people are, but I start to see the same people here. Um, there's an old gentleman. He's probably in his 80s, and a uh, Japanese man. He seriously is so cute, and he has this little, like, Scotty dog, and um, every time I see him, we talk about the weather. We talk about his dog. He... Um, he says, way to, way to come when it's cold. And uh, yesterday was his dog's birthday. He's 14 years old. And I just start to see regulars and starting to chat with people more. Um, I thought that was a person, but it's a garbage can. Um, I see like some of the same moms. There's a little yoga group of Asian women and men that do yoga at like 9.30. Um, it's really, really cute to like watch them. They had a pickleball group of women um, yesterday and I just was like, that is the cutest thing ever. And they were all playing pickleball and uh, it was really, really cute. See, just like, I love it. Like she was like, isn't it so pretty? And uh, it is, look at this. This is what my fall is gonna look like. You know, the sun is, there it is. It's gonna hopefully peak out here in the next half hour. Um, but I, I, I see like my, my usuals here, starting to become friends with them. Um, it's just fun. And it just, it, I wake up now, I allow myself to like relax, watch a few videos or watch TikTok for a minute. Cause I just wake up early. And now I know that I'm going to get up and go for a walk. I still have my to-do list. I still have things I need to get done at home or errands to run. But for the most part, this comes first. Did I load the dishwasher a little bit and start it? Yeah. Did I bring a bunch of crap downstairs that had accumulated upstairs? Yes, I did. Would I normally put in a load of laundry? Yeah, I probably would. I didn't have one today. I do some things before I come, um, but for the most part, this is the first thing I do. My kids know it now. They're accustomed to me taking this time for myself. 
they're at home getting ready for school. Chelsea's literally gonna go out to the bus in three minutes. Ashley will go out in about 20 minutes. And Abby, I think, is already gone. Maybe she's not. Um, she got a bus pass. I'm so excited for her. She got a, not a bus pass. That sounds so dumb. She got a parking pass for the high school. Our high school has very limited parking. And um, so they have to rank uh, parking passes. Um, seniors, seniors that are doing running start have a separate parking lot because they leave campus and come back. Some of them come back, she doesn't. Um, and then it ranks down to other kids. Um, but she got a parking pass. I know that because she just asked me to take my debit card to pay for it, which she's still in high school. So we're still paying for educational costs. So anyway, um, they're all doing their thing and um, they know that yesterday the uh, rangers cut down a lot of these cattails. You can see the pile right there. But they were all over the boardwalk here. <laughs> They're really in the way. So I saw him just out now raking and cleaning this up, which is nice. All right. So the last things that I do um, as I'm walking, but also like I think ahead to this I make sure I have something to listen to I make sure I have a podcast I make sure I have it downloaded or ready to go picked out um, I make sure sometimes I listen to YouTube videos that are not on podcast I have books downloaded for audiobooks that I can listen to I have um, let's see what else do I listen to um, uh, music on Pandora, I do, hang on one second. Um, I also, so I have certain um, kind of tracks, the music playlists, I guess. Um, I'm not a Spotify person. I don't create my own playlist. My daughters will roll their eyes at me because I'm old school and I don't worry about that. But I do have like a dance cardio <laughs> playlist on Pandora that I listen to if I need high energy. Otherwise, I just listen to top hits. Cool down, I can listen to like country music and just kind of let it chill me out if I need to. So I have things in mind and it's gotten to the point where if I see podcasts, especially um, on the different channels that I watch, and a lot of them are religious, so I'm not going to like share what they are or spiritual in nature helping me go through the things that I'm going through. Um, a lot of the times I'm watching for those on a day-to-day -day basis. And if I see one that I really want to listen to, I just quickly save it to my watch later list. Knowing, and that excites me. I'm like, I'm going to go on my walk tomorrow because I really want to listen to that. And I try not to listen to it at home because then I'm really excited to get on my walk I've got an hour and a half of a podcast to listen to I'm gonna walk for that hour and a half you know what I'm saying like then it excites you to want to go so I'm constantly like either searching for something to listen to or saving it and being excited for the next morning so if I don't finish it during my walk I do allow myself to kind of listen to it um, as I go home but the start of a podcast I always save fresh for a walk. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I listen to podcasts to kind of get my heart rate going, get into a couple miles of my walk to get my body loosened up a little bit. And then like yesterday, I did two, three miles that way. And I realized I was kind of slowing down and I picked up the pace by turning on a dance cardio playlist on Pandora. And then I really kind of stepped it up and almost got to six miles. I cooled it down the last half mile. So these are just kind of my tips. You can kind of modify it for any kind of workout, going for your dog walk, create the habit um, in whatever way, but try and make it easier on yourself 
so you can make the steps more routine. And with that, I'm going to listen to my podcast and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, two more things. Chapstick. Always in your bra. Always in your bra. It's actually like, can you see it? It's right there. (laughs) Always in your bra. That way it doesn't fall out when you put your phone in and out of your pocket. Lose it on the trail. I can have access to it. Tissues. Because, you know, we're old. And we carry tissues in our pockets now. My nose runs a lot when I'm walking. Tissues. Get those from my car. Just have everything on me. Ready to go. It better not be starting to rain. There's a zero rain in the forecast. This is just fog. Please. Just fog. But just so you know, half mile in, I already want to ditch the jacket. It's already warm enough for me, but I don't want to stop. So I'm going to do another half mile. Make sure I'm nice and warm. And then I will ditch my jacket. Okay, let's go walk. Well, look at that. I see blue skies over there. Sunglasses. When I took off my jacket, grabbed my sunglasses, and like these, on and off. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna go get my eyes checked, get a new prescription. I saw some really cute um, frames on pair eyewear that were a little bit different and they had kind of more of a uh, kind of a brown neutral gray type sunglass um, you know topper because these bright pink ones going into the fall and winter even though sun does go away here it can get the it's weird because like the foggy sky can actually be really bright when you're driving so anyway we're doing pretty good all right just finished six miles I did really good today didn't really feel my body which was great didn't feel my knee it feels really good in the brace yesterday I was struggling to keep the brace in the right position but when it's in the right position it's it works great Um, and I, I I do think it's helping my knee. I do think it's eventually, I probably won't have to wear it, wear it, but maybe I just keep wearing it. I don't know, but we're going to continue on with my little routine. What I do, I'm going to put as much of this in here as I can. Um, luckily the sun, I guess I can maybe get it all. That way I don't have the issue. Oh, Sorry, my battery is dead, which is part of the reason why I stopped. And also because I'm kind of hungry. This protein drink is going to help me a ton. Because I do need to stop at the bank and possibly the store on my way home. I just would rather get it done. I know when Ashley gets home from school this afternoon, she's going to want to get a haircut. If I can make her an appointment somewhere, I'm going to do that. Okay, so. Yeah, let's go. I'm just gonna run to the bank really quick. And um, I think I'm gonna get home and shower um, and get something to eat, because I'm very sweaty. Very sweaty in my hair. When I do it like this, I feel the sweat more because my hair is dry when I pull it back like this, which is why I twist it, because then I don't feel the sweat necessarily. But also it doesn't stay in. It doesn't stay in with the ponytail. So that's why I twist it back. But I feel pretty nasty. It's gonna get to 80 degrees today, so it's hard to like decide to shower now when it's only 65, (laughs) cause it's gonna get hotter, but it'll be what it'll be. That's another thing that's kind of hard. Cause like I wanna shower after every time I go walking and stuff. But um, a lot of time I'm running errands and I go home and I get busy and I eat and then I have to run out and do something else really fast. And then I have to go and do chair. And so I'm like, "Ah, I don't want to shower before all that. And I might as well shower tonight. And then I get to like nighttime. And then I'm like, I don't want to shower tonight because I'm just going to wake up in the morning and get sweaty again. But 
I showered last night and now I'm going to have to shower again this morning. <laughs> anyway, that's just, that's just the downside to doing this, I guess. All right. It's been a couple hours. I have been able to edit, clean up. Um, I didn't shower. I just got myself kind of cleaned up. I guess it's going to be warm today. Um, but I'm going to go get my nails done. We're going to change them and then probably end with you guys. Maybe we'll show it at, if I go get Ashley's haircut, um, I'll bring you along. I'm waiting for traffic. I'm, I forget about the bus schedule. <laughs> this is really catching me off guard. I've got to remember that like school has started and <laughs> I got to get out of the house. Um, at certain times, like I gotta like pay attention better. So let's go figure out what nails I'm gonna do. I don't have any specific, you know, thing that I need them to look good for, but I'm just gonna get them redone. Just something simple. All right, I've got her with me. I forgot to show you my nails. I didn't do anything drastic. I literally, here, to, oh, is it focused? Yeah. Tap on it for me, Ash. Oh. <laughs> There, I just did French tip, but I did them more rounded. This nail and then you want to show, the show you. me. Abby did hers the other day. Come on, they're cute. This one bugs the crap out of me. Yeah, that one just chipped off. I was gonna be bad because she doesn't like it. But, um, I'm just not gonna show but she sat there for hours, like two hours the other day. Yeah, but yeah. like I didn't actually do this. I came to school, I put on my backpack, and it like snapped off. Snapped off. So we're gonna go get her hair cut and, and then I'm calling it done for the day. I just had some chicken, peas, and grapes. So I am full and hydrated. And we're gonna do some layering with your hair, correct? I want it like, yeah. I, I want can't get my seatbelt done up. We'll show you. Okay, stand up. Let me see how long your hair is. It's pretty long. Yeah, turn around. So like that's we're framing a little bit in the front and we're going to take just like an inch or two off Not the bottom. That much. We just need to cut off dead ends on the length. Yep. All right. Were we a little worried going in there? Yes. Tell them what happened. Hang on. I got to pause the music. What happened when we first went in? So we were just sitting in there. And then this dude was like complaining about this like he had a simple like buzz cut and he was mad about it. He was mad about him like is that not what And then mean? and then the guy and then like he like moved over to this other person. And and he's then, like, "Well, I'm not going to do it anymore." And then, I'm not going to do it anymore. And the yeah. other lady was like, "Fine, come to my chair." And they're both like really rude about it, the yeah, hairstylist. But then the guy was the one that and was supposed he was to cut her hair. hair. And I'm like, is he going to do it wrong? I was so scared when he started I cutting know. it. Because he started doing it from the back. And it was like... I know, but he was just Ugh. trimming the back. But turn around so I can see it. No, turn this way. Well, yeah, like, we can go both ways. It's like... So we did really good framing here in the front. I want, like, the rolls to put in my hair. I know. <laughs> I know. It, but yeah, we're going to... We're, we're working on one thing after another. Or one thing at a time, I should say. So she does have some framing pieces. This is the shortest. And then it goes down. And then that oh, created a it. nice it, um, curve in the back. Yeah, you're able to do both. Yeah, I checked it to make sure we can get it in a ponytail. You like it? Yeah. Well, go home and curl it. And see like, if it looks good. Okay? In the back, it's wet, so it's not actually like... No, wet. yeah, you can't see like the full... The it does have a nice curve to it, which is nice. All right, I my that's almost dead, so I need to be able to get home. You're gonna be able to get home. Did, were you on the phone with Mia? Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Then you entered. Okay, we'll call her back because I just sent her a friend a picture of her in the hair in the chair because she was trying to call and FaceTime and text, and I was like, dude, give her a second. But I'm gonna sign off with you guys um, and be done for the night in a lot of regards. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time.